Bilf Wells is a market town in the historic county of Breckenshire in Mid Wales. It has a population of about 2,568. A 40-foot mural depicting the last days of Llewellyn ap Griffith, an ancient Prince of Wales, before his death at the hands of the English at Kilmeri, two miles from Bilth, on December 11, 1282. Llewellyn had come to the Bilth after defeating the English army at the Menai Straits to gather support amongst the local chieftains. Almost seeming in a time warp, the little market town of Narbeth in Pembrokeshire has a small selection of unusual shops which have preserved its old world charm and set it apart from the frenetic world of supermarkets and out of town shopping. Narbeth also has a small castle. The current ruins are undoubtedly Norman and seem to date from the 13th century. Carmarthen is the oldest continually occupied town in Wales. It's proud of its Roman origins as well as its links with the Arthurian legend of Merlin. The wizard is said by some to have been born here. A well-known Carmarthen belief refers to an old oak which used to grow in the town. When Merlin's oak shall tumble down, then shall fall Carmarthen town. When the rotten remnants of the gnarled old tree were finally removed in 1978, a branch of the old tree can still be seen in Carmarthenshire County Museum. And now we come to Cardigan, West Wales. It's an ancient market town on the River Tyvee and home of the first Welsh Eisteddfod. Today, Cardigan provides a traditional shopping and cultural centre for local residents and visitors to West Wales. The 1176 Cardigan Eisteddfod was a cultural tournament involving bards and musicians and held in the grounds of Cardigan Castle. A remake of Wales' original Eisteddfod chair has now been returned to the castle. Llandrinod Wells, or Landod as it is known to the locals, is one of the largest market towns in the area. The town owes its existence to the discovery of mineral rich springs here in the 18th century. Over the following century, the springs gained a reputation for enhancing health and curing disease, and people flocked to the region to take the waters. Today, the architecture of Landrinod Wells reflects its Victorian heyday as a fashionable spa town. There's also a large lake. In the centre of the lake, popular for fishing and model boating, is a striking sculpture of a water serpent. The historic rock park in the town, originally set out in the 1860s to cater for the flourishing spa trade, the rock park today provides 12 acres of mature woodland with plenty to see and do. You can discover the spring and sample the waters and many of the Victorian spa buildings remain, including the original pump room.
First town on the River Wye, the Ryada is home to the spectacular dams and reservoirs of the Elan and Clywen Valleys. One of the oldest buildings in Ryder is the Old Swan, which stands on the corner of West and South Street. The original building was mentioned in 1676 as being one of the two inns in Ryder at that date, although some changes were made in 1683. And finally we come to Conway Town, a World Heritage Site with an imposing 13th century castle and walls. Conwy also has the smallest house in Great Britain. It was created in the 16th century and remained in use until 1900. When the tenant was a 6 foot 3, 1.91 metre fisherman. The rooms were too small for him to stand up in fully and he was eventually forced to move out when the council declared the house unfit for human habitation. Well that's all for now, thanks for watching, don't forget please subscribe, bye!